Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives to push this truth in these last days. Shalom. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shadala from the GMS Italia camp. And I'm here with another quick one. Hopeful, hopefully it's going to be edifying. So I just wanted to, you know, make some comments regarding the book of Daniel chapter 3. So if you read from the beginning, if you know the story real well, you know, it spoke, it's speaking about um, King Nebuchadnezzar when he made a golden image and he told everybody to bow to that image. And I'm trying to, you know, related to what's going on you know as the scriptures say you know things that were written at for time is are written for our learning you know just paraphrasing and you know there is nothing new under the sun according to the book of ecclesiasticus okay one nine you know there is nothing new under the under the sun so everything they were written before they were written for preparing our spirits man for our learning so these are the times we're about to get into you know even the time of jacob's trouble really hard times we really need we really need to we really need to make decisions you know so i'm not going to read from the beginning because you know it speaks goes into it how the image was built by the king and he called people to to bow to this image you know and those who don't bow to this image are going to be put to death so you had these three men of the most high shedrach Meshach, and abednego you know shedrach Meshach, and abednego you know they refused to bow and they were brought to the king okay so i'll start from verse 14 which quotes nebuchadnezzar spoke and said unto them is it true o shadrach meshach and abednego do not ye serve my gods nor worship the golden image which i have set up you know so i just want to see what's in this um serve my god Do not ye serve. I want to see what that serve, which the root word word is um, pelak, pelak. Okay, which means to worship, to revere, to minister, for pay reverence to. You know. Let's see if there's something more. To labor hands to serve. Okay especially to worship that's good so now if ye be ready that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet flute up you know sackbot psaltery and dulcimer and all kinds of um, music ye fall down and worship the image which i have made well but if ye worship not ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of the burning uh, fairy flame um fairy furnace and who is that god who shall deliver you out of my hands you know we're actually going into the same things now you know um esau is making esau has made um the vanessa juice aka the serpent serum he has made it you know mandatory here and those it's just the same thing we're saying it's telling you okay bow to this you know if not out i'm going to you can't you can't walk you know you can't be free so let's see what these brothers did let's see if they got scared if they started thinking what how they were going to eat if they started thinking of their life or whatever let's see what happened shadrach meshach and abednego answered and said to the king oh nebuchadnezzar we are not careful to answer thee in this matter we are not careful to answer thee in this matter i just want to see what's written there we are not careful i want to see the careful cash ark have need for careful to need have need 
a thing needed okay so it's the same thing we can apply to today do we really need you know these jobs like are they our real source of life yes we need these jobs in this kingdom but is that what really matters even to the extent of you taking something that's going to take your life no they actually kept their trust in something else in the most high they know the most high was going to protect them was going to give them everything that they need you know and it's the same thing we can apply to today man you know they say okay if you don't take this thing you don't you don't have a job you don't have this okay that's fine the most high yahweh Hashem Yahushai will provide man this is the spirit we should be having man not the spirit of fear you know the scripture says i've given you um i'm just paraphrasing i'm not giving you the spirit of fear man if it be so our power yahweh whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and it will deliver us out of thine hand O king that burning that burning fairy uh, furnace excuse me my pen fell down so that burning um fairy furnace could be could be um likened onto you know suffering you know death our work because here in italy the people are really scared to lose their jobs man if they don't have any job you know they believe that's the end of life for them and we shouldn't be in the same spirit um we shouldn't be in the same mindset with those people because we are a different people man we are set aside the most i have called us and we are, we are meant to be separate man we are a holy and chosen people holy means to be set aside to be separate man so we shouldn't have that same mentality these people are having man we have a power that has kept showing us you know different miracles from time to time we were slaves we were we were captives in the in the in the land of the egyptians he brought us out if it, it took us through a lot of wars and we won them you know but due to our disobedience you know we are in this situation that we are and this is just like um a, a, a cleaning process man and when he comes back we're going to be the kings of this earth man and that's the major deal, man. We have to trust in the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. But if not, be it known to thee, O King, that we will not serve thy God, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. You know, this reminds me of um, the book of Revelation 13. Let's see what verse. This is Revelation 13, verse 16. And this is coming very soon. This is the MOTB, as you know, Marcos, coming very soon. You know, it's the next step. It's already out. This is the book of Revelation 13, 16. And it causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark on the hand of and the, or the name of the beast or the number of his name you know we're going into these times again you know and this particular uh, specific um scripture the um, revelation 13 um 16 is coming soon man sooner than you can think so let these stories let them prepare your spirit let them build you man for what's about to come you know then was nebuchadnezzar fully full of fury and the form of um, his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace even seven times more than it was wont to be heated. Okay, we are definitely going to go through, you know, really hard times, you know. If we don't take these things, if we don't comply to these things, you know, we're really going to go through hard times, man but you you have to make up your mind man you have to be strong man nothing easy comes that easy man this is the last test just close your eyes man 
This is the last test. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their, their hosen, and their hats, and their garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fury of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And this is how the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is going to destroy our, our enemies, you know, those who try to lay their hands on us, man. This is the kind of mindset we should be having, you know, praying for the protection of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahusha, praying for Him to give you the spirit to, you know, to make these hard decisions that you have to make. You have to make these decisions whether you like it or not. It's not here in your city. It doesn't mean it's not coming, man. It's coming. It's right there, man. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound in the midst of the burning fairy furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men born into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no earth, and the form of the fourth is like the son of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fairy, uh, fairy furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High Yahweh, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. And the princes, governors, and captains of the kings, counselors being gathered together, saw these men upon those bodies. The fire had no power, nor was an hair of their head singed, you know. Neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of the fire had prospered on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the power, Yahweh, of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had sent his angel and deliver the servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's words and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any power except their own power Yahweh Shem Yahushai or praises to the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai the Most High is powerful to, to save men let's see if I can find that scripture to save This is Deuteronomy 24 for for Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai that power is he that goeth before you to fight for you against your enemies to save you man that's not really the scriptures I'm looking for but you know it's good say such <sighs> This is the this is the this is the the kind of prayer we should be praying now. Bow down thy ear to me, deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock, for a house of defense for me. You know. For he shall stand. This is the book of Psalm 109, 31. For he shall stand at the right hand of the people to save him from those that condemn his soul. This is a promise from the Most High. Khan. Most of Yahweh, um, who is this that cometh from Edom? This is Yahweh Shai because his return is really going to be bloody, man. I speak in righteousness, mighty to save. 
for I am this is the book of Jeremiah 15 20 and I will make thee unto this people a fenced brazen wall and they shall fight thee they shall fight against thee but they shall not prevail against thee for I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee said the Lord man anyway you know i think i've made the point you all need to put your trust in the most high yahweh ba shem you know anyway yeah i think i made the point you know we need to have that kind of spirit the brothers had that meshach um uh, shedrach meshach and abednego you know that spirit to be able to to make this powerful destruct um this powerful um decisions hoping and knowing that the most high was going to save them you know so it makes no sense you know falling for all this you know this um um devices of the satan trying to save your life in which you're still going to lose anyway you know so having said this i hope this was edifying i'd like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem my double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone shalom